Hey what's up guys, it's me Alan Isano, and today we're back with a new Lumion Legacy Team Builder video. Today we're going to be going over Luminami with this very very fun balance team. But before we get into the team, I kind of want to go over some more standard Luminami sets that you might like put on other teams, and then we're going to get into these more unorthodox Luminami sets. So when you look at Luminami and you look at the role that it plays, you're going to see that most of the time it's going to be run as a bulky pivot that's designed to sponge moves and then get in your attackers. And the reason for this is because of its very key abilities and moves. So on all of these Luminami sets, we will be running the secret ability Power Napper, which is going to give us one quarter of our HP back every time we switch out. And then Flash and Flea is going to allow us to hit the opponent and then switch out immediately afterwards. And you'll see how these two things affect our personality and TPs and UPs. So firstly, we're going to be running Brawny, Robust, Very Sluggish. The reason we want Very Sluggish with zero speed UPs is because we want to be as slow as possible just to ensure that we aren't outspeeding the opponent and that Luminami does sponge the hit instead of our attacker. And for our item, we're going to be running Mysterious Dust. Just have some extra versatility on what we can pivot off of. For example, now we can pivot off of something like Vanillin that might poison us. And we can also heal off burns from things like Fire Breath that we might be absorbing from things like Pyrolin. And for our moves, of course we're going to want that Flash and Flea, but we're also going to be running Frost Beam, which is going to allow us to hit Gargolem Defense. And for example, we can 2-hit KO uh, Robust Gargolem Defense, which would normally be running uh, 192 HP and then 104 uh, Range Defense. So we can 2-hit KO that even with the Health Amulet. And then for our next move, we're going to be running Wave Wrecker. This is going to allow us to hit things like Tyrex, things like Pyrolin, and then things like Eliguana on their weaker side. So all these things typically run a Range Defensive set, so this is going to allow us to hit them for big damage. Uh, for Tyrex, I believe with this particular set, uh, we can always Oko um, their scapegoats at minus one. So if they're 200 HP, and I believe it's either 88 or 200 melee defense, we will still be able to hit their scapegoats and break them. And then Megatromp is going to allow us to hit things like Tatab, and this is going to be reflected in our TPs with 56 melee attack, which with Brawny is going to allow us to 2 hit KO those Tatabs if they're running 80 HP, which is very standard. And for our other TPs, we're going to be running 176 health, which is going to give us an overall health stat of 204, which of course is divisible by 4, which works well with our Power Napper ability. And then we're going to be running 20 points in energy, which will give us an energy stat of 250, which will allow us to get a minimum of 5 moves off. And then we're going to be maximizing that melee defense and then putting all the extra into range attack. You can put it back into melee attack, but personally I just put it into range attack just to have stronger flash and fleas. So yeah, this is going to be the standard Luminami set that's going to be splashable on most other teams. So now we're going to get into some more um, unorthodox sets. So this is going to be flipping that idea on its head. So before we were running uh, Barani Robust, now we're going to be running Smart Clever. Again with the Mysterious Dust and the Zero Speed UPs and 176 health, this is going to be very standard on any Luminami. And then of course we're going to want that Power Napper and Flash and Flea. This moveset's going to do the exact same thing, but Frost Beam is going to allow us to 2-hit KO range defensive Gargolems, so something that would be running uh, 200 range defense, uh, 192 HP, and then also Health Amulet and Clever. Uh, this is going to allow us to 2-hit KO those Gargolems always. And then Wave Wrecker again is going to be hitting those uh, Tyrexes, Eliguanas, and Pyrolins. Uh, this particular Luminami is going to be running 8 points into melee attack, and that for sure is for breaking Tyrex's scapegoat at minus one if they're 200 HP and then 88 melee defense, which is standard for the range defensive Tyrexes. So this is always going to be breaking those scapegoats. And then Nova Blast is the only move that we're changing from the robust variant. So this is going to allow us to hit things like Deladrix and then things like Wintrix for big damage using our smart personality and then stab boost. And then our TPs are very simple. 72 points into energy is going to give us a stat of 260, which is going to allow us to fire off 5 Nova Blasts. And then we're going to maximize our range defense stat, and then put all of the remaining points into range attack. So again, this set is going to be better for dealing with things like Deladrix, and then things like Wintrix. But you might be thinking, right? Luminami gets Thunder Chomp, right? So why not run Brawny Clever to hit those Deladrix and Wintrixes for super effective damage? So that's actually what we have here. We're going to be running Brawny Clever, again with the Mysterious Dust, and of course the 0 speed UPs and 176 health. And then we're going to be running Thunder Chomp with the Brawny Clever, very sluggish personality. And then of course everything else is going to remain the same. And then for our TPs, again, we're going to be putting 20 points into energy, which will allow us to fire off a minimum of 5 moves, and then maximize that range defense stat, and then put everything else into melee attack. So this Luminami is going to be specifically specialized for things like Deladrix and Wintrix, even though, you know, they aren't as common in the meta right now. So yeah, these are going to be your standard Luminami sets, but now we're going to get into this balance team. Uh, our first member is going to be Shachi, this is going to be the same as the last video, with the Mystic Wand, a very smart personality, and then we're going to be running Sharp Focus, and then all of these moves for very, very good coverage. And then for TPs, this is going to be very simple. Maximize that range attack, maximize that speed, and then put everything else into health, because we will have 250 energy by default. And then with Sharp Focus, all of our moves are going to have an even energy cost, so there's no point in putting 4 points into energy. 
And next, I think we're going to go a little out of order. Uh, we're going to go into Bard Badger here. This is going to be running the very brawny, tender, clumsy personality with a specialty boot. So this is going to allow us to maximize that damage while also having very good speed. And for ability, we're going to be running Dauntless. Dauntless is going to give us those occasional melee attack boosts, which is going to be very good for sweeping through teams. We're going to be running Close Combat, Ice Hammer, Clay Slap, and Ill Will. But Clay Slap is going to be very key here. This is going to allow us to hit Bar Blast, which is something that Akalos, a very similar Lumion, is not able to do. And then we're going to have very, very strong dual stabs with this Close Combat and then Ice Hammer. And then for a TP is very simple, we're going to maximize that melee attack, maximize that speed, and then put 36 into energy, which will give us 260 energy, which will allow us to go for one close combat, and then four more ice hammers, and then everything else will go into health stat. So as you can see, these are going to be very, very strong wall breakers, which allow us to break down the defensive cores of teams. So this is going to synergize very, very well with Luminami, and also later we'll get onto Zulong and Phaetron, which all have pivoting moves, which are going to allow us to get these very strong attackers in safely. So our next member is going to be Imperior. Uh, this is a very toxic Lumion. Uh, we're going to be using uh, Very, Nimble, Tender, and Foolish. And for this particular set, we actually want our defense to be as low as possible. And for item, we're just going to be running that Milkshake just to have that occasional healing. And then for ability, we're going to be running Resentful. So what the ability Resentful is going to do is that when we are knocked out by another Lumion, we're going to be doing equal damage to them as much as they did to us. So basically, if we're hit by a very, very strong attack and we do get knocked out, we will be doing a lot of damage to the opponent. And I will skip the moveset here just so we can get to TPs and UPs. We're going to be minimizing our health and defense UPs just to make sure that we are knocked out by moves. We're going to be putting 24 points into HP. And this is going to make sure that we just barely die from a Ice Essence Brain Freeze from a smart 200 range attack Wintrix. So this is going to allow us to get rid of Wintrixes. And then we're going to be maximizing our range attack and speed and then putting everything else into energy. And then the, our moveset's gonna be very simple. You can probably just replace this for anything else you want. But personally, I'm gonna be running Dark Surge, Shrewd Blast, and then we're gonna be running Health Gift. This is just insurance, just in case if you like fumble a kill. So you're still gonna be able to get some utility out of your Imperior, even if it doesn't knock something out. And then Tricky Tactics is gonna be good for something like Mutagon that might be able to set up on us. So we can actually hit it for big damage back and they'll be forced to kill us with Quick Punch. So yeah, that's going to be Imperior, and Imperior is not just limited to Wintrix, right? So you can use this for anything that might be threatening your team, something like Dragodine, which is big in the meta right now, and you can also use this for setup supers like Samarin, Obsidragon, and then also Seadrake, and then really strong attackers like Deladrix, Ikazune, and Kanibo. You can also use this to scout Metatoad sets, so Metatoad can either run Specialization or Watcher, and you can actually use this to deal big chip to Specialization sets, and also scout for Watcher sets. Uh, you can also use this for Boonery. If Boonery copies one of our attackers, we can actually use this to combat that and then just get rid of Boonery straight up. And even if they don't have Boonery, if they also have their own Shachi or Bar Badger, this will actually make quick work of those as well. Uh, the thing is with Bar Badger, you are O-Code by both of its stabs, but unfortunately uh, it does have that 161 health and you actually have 160. So since we are running a clever Luminami to deal with Wintrix, you could also add some health TPs here just to make sure you're O-Code by Bar Badger's stabs. So yeah, that's going to be Imperior. If you think of Shashi and Bar Badger as wall breakers that get rid of defensive threats, you can think of Imperior as a frail Lumion that gets rid of offensive threats. So yeah, these three Lumions are going to drastically limit the amount of resources an opposing team has. So our next Lumion is going to be Zulong. When I was testing this team, I was really weak to rev up users like Samarin and Avitross. So yeah, this Zulong with the clutch plushie is going to allow us to revenge kill those rev up users. And this is also going to allow us to outspeed and kill uh, Boots Dragodine, which is very common in the General Coliseum. And for a personality, we're going to be running very frail, smart, and nimble. And this set has remained very much unchanged since Zulong was added to Lumion Legacy. We're going to be running Ancient Roar, Thunderstrike, and Elemental Burst. And then our last move, way back when, when Florant was a threat, we would be running Chili Chomp in this slot. But now Zulong gets a very phenomenal move in Fire Breath, which is going to allow us to hit Tyrex. And for our ability, we're going to be running Brute Force just to have extra damage. And then if you look at any Zulong set, besides maybe a Taze set, this TP set has endured the test of time. So we're going to be maximizing that speed stat, that ranged attack stat, and then putting 20 points into energy as all of our moves have a 50 energy cost or less. And then we're going to be putting the remaining points into health. So yeah, this is going to be Zulong. This is going to work as a cleaner and also to revenge kill Samarin and also Boots Dragodine. And then for our next member, we're going to be running Billowforge. Uh, this Billowforge is a little bit different to others that you might be seeing. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a defensive set with very clever sluggish and clumsy with the health amulet item. I'm not sure if I like this more than offensive sets because the primary use of this Lumion is to fend off things like Tata with its very, very good fire toxic typing. And you can do this very well without a melee defense investment. So to be honest, you could get away with running an offensive set in this slot right here. 
but today we're going to be running a defensive set. So the moves I'm going to be running is Burn Up, Poison, Kindle the Rage, and Baneful Bash. Baneful Bash is going to allow us to hit things like Banfino, which we do not have an answer for on this particular team. And then we're going to be running Burn Up to get rid of Hazards, and then Kindle Rage to hit Stratosaur, and then Poison to poison everything else. Stratosaur is the only thing immune to poison with our Blistering Heat ability. So this is going to force the opponent to either make a choice of giving up their Stratosaur or letting something get poisoned. So yeah, this particular set functions very, very similarly to Pyrolin, but we can also get rid of Poison Barbs as soon as we switch in, and also spread poison ourselves. So yeah, the point of this Lumion is basically just to be a bulky Lumion that also deals with Tatab and also gets rid of poison barbs. And yeah, so our last member is going to be Phage Knot. We're going to be running that robust personality with heavy armor, and we're also going to be running the Malware ability. It's going to allow us to function as a melee wall that can deal with things like Yersul, Vesperatu, and Halvantic. And then we're going to be running double pivot moves with Thunderstrike and Rejuvenate. These pivot moves are going to allow us to pivot off of everything in the game except for Boneki. And then Thunderstrike is going to be our main stab just in case we need to fire off a hit. But you can also run Rant here just to hit Metatode, which would normally wall us without the move. And then Rejuvenate is going to give us very, very reliable healing. And then for our TPs, we're going to be maximizing that HP and then maximizing that melee defense. And then for our energy, we're going to be running 8 points in energy, which will give us 266 energy, which will allow us to rejuvenate 3 times and then fire off 1 attack. And then for our speed, I believe this outspeeds Nimble 200 Seer Knight, and then we'll be putting all the excess into ranged defense. So yeah, this is a very fun balance team with threats that can take out both offensive and defensive threats, and I think anyone running this team will be very pleased as it has given me a lot of wins so far. So yeah, this is the team. Uh, I do want to show you some battles just to prove that this team is actually good. So yeah, I will pause the recording now until we find a couple battles. Okay, so we do have a battle here. Uh, what I'm seeing is there's a lot of big threats like to Clips and, and then Imperior. Uh, I think I do want um, this just so we can get rid of that to Clips hopefully. Uh, that appears is going to be really tough to get rid of. That Wobblisk as well. Uh, I think I do want uh, Luminami. They might not have Clay Slap. Oh, we're running out of time. Uh, okay, I think Phage Knot is good for Obsidragon, and also that Halvantic. Uh, I don't know if I want Imperior in this game. I think their Boots user is Halvantic, so I think we do this, and then this to break through Vanillin, and then we lead Luminami. Okay. Uh, I mean, this is not as clean as I would hope, but we ran out of time, so it is what it is. Uh, they're gonna lead that Obsidragon. Okay, I'm fine with taking a Mega Chomp here. So I think I'm just gonna flash and flee. And I mean, they could go into C Drake. Uh, I think Phage Knot's a pretty good mid ground here, no? Yeah, I, I think we will just do that just in case. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, they do go into that C Drake. Um, uh, Thorn Slime isn't contact, which is a little bit unfortunate for us, but I think our. We did bring Barbadra, right? Okay, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure our guy outspeeds their guy. So I think we're just gonna click the button and see what happens. Um, they don't have any Earth types, so I think we're good. Uh, yeah, so they do go for that Thorn Slam. I'm not sure about speed tiers, so... Oh wait, it is contact now. Okay, that, that's really good for us. Very nice. Okay. Uh, okay, I feel like they don't ever stay in here, right? So they probably just go into Imperior, and I know for a fact Clay Slap does not kill Imperior, so I think we will just do that. Uh, their Anomaly is gone, so there isn't really a risk with doing this, and they don't have any moves to threaten me. So yeah, we will see here, and they are minus one as well. And yeah, there is that Imperior. We're gonna like neutralize a very big threat here, which is very nice. Oh wow, that is bulky Imperior. Um, that, that's a little troubling, actually. I'm not super sure about that. I'm also not super sure about this Bill of Forge. I kind of do want to swap it for an offensive one. But I think out of all of our guys, that's probably the one to sack here. Um, because, like, tricky tactics, if they have it, will hurt a lot to our Bar Badger. But I feel like Bar Badger is a really good threat here. So I think we will just go into this. Um... Yeah, so Imperior won't ever kill us immediately. Oh, provoke. Okay, that's a little strange. Um, I think I just want to hit it, to be honest. Or poison is good. Poison is nice. Uh, they don't have a poison immunity besides maybe Obsidragon, so we will... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I, I'm a little bit stupid. Okay, so we'll click this button. Uh, Dark Surge, if we die here, uh, that's fine, because I think this is a really valuable asset for them uh, with our game plan. Um, it looks like it's just a Mold Breaker attacker, I guess. Or is it resentful? No, it is resentful. Okay. So we're gonna lose that. I mean, we just needed this for Declipse. And even then, we have, like, Barbatcher to threaten, off it, threaten it offensively. So I'm not I'm not too heartbroken about that. So I think we're just gonna go into Luminami here. Uh, they revealed Seadrake. 
and Obsidigon and also that Imperior so far. Uh, okay, they, they go into this big, big threat right now. I don't know if, since we are clever, we take a Baneful Bash, so I think we're just going to go into this uh, safe Phage Knot. And then I don't know what we'll do after that, to be honest, because we can't really pivot into anything in particular. I don't think they ever go uh, Sea Drake here because they never threaten us out. So I think we're just going to click Flash and Flee safely, unless they do have that Eclipse. So maybe it is worth rejuvenating or Thunder Striking. Um, okay, so Gnarly Gash, that's going to crit. Um, they are aggressive, uh, which is nice to know. We aren't going to be taking too much damage. That damage looked a little lower than I feel like it should have been. So maybe this is not Boots. But we will just uh, rejuvenate here, just so we can keep our health topped up. Uh, I don't really see how they could potentially break through this Phage Knot. If they had to Eclipse, they would go into it now. But they're hesitating a little bit, so I don't know if they actually have it. Oh, uh, they are going to click that again. That did a little bit more, I think, than last time. I think Flash and Flee, just to get that chip, is safe. I don't know if I want to risk my Shachi. Because I'm pretty sure it dies to Baneful Bash anyways. Uh, okay, so maybe we just stay in and Thunderstrike, no? Do we have enough? Uh, okay, so we won't have enough energy to Thunderstrike and Rejuvenate, so I think we'll rest, play the long game. Uh, let's see what they go into. We're gonna get this rest off for free, which is very nice. Oh, this is Obsidragon. Okay, that kind of makes me think it's Weakness Policy. Um, if they are Weakness Policy, what do we have? Because if they Drudge, I don't think they outspeed my Shachi, so I think we're fine. I think we'll just click this. Um, that's a really slow Obsidragon. I don't know what they're going for which is kind of scary. I think this might be pretty good, but I feel like Body Crash is like the funny move that everyone likes to click. I don't know. We'll, we'll go into Luminami and see what they do. I don't think Earthquake is ever run on these things, so... Okay, there's a Drudge. Uh, is Frostbeam too risky, dude? I don't know. Because I... Okay. If they have Sea Drake, I have Phage Knot. So... Okay, we'll, we'll just flash and flee, see what happens. Uh, yeah, this team's gonna be hard to break through, because there isn't really, like, one thing that breaks through everything. If they do switch out here, uh, we are gonna have that Bar Badger, uh, damage for a Bar Badger, and then, um, Ice Hammer will not proc, uh, Resilience. That's gonna be good for us. Okay, there's a Venolin, so that, this is a chance, this is a good chance. Um, we can pick up a kill here. So wait, what do they have? They have Obsidragon, they have Sea Trick, they have... Uh, they had Imperior, they have Venolin, and then they have Helvantic. Okay, so they don't have to Eclipse, they don't have Wobblist. That's very good. Um, we could just break through this with Shachi. I don't really know what Shachi will do otherwise. And I think we want this to break through Obsidragon. So yeah, I think we will just be doing this. They don't really have anything to stop this, I don't think. So yeah, I, I think this is our safe play. So I'm not going to lie, Bar Badger's Ice Hammer is looking really, really nice right now. But this isn't quite low enough for that to Oko, and I don't really want to get poisoned uh, when it's such a big asset on my team. So we're just going to go into this, click Foul Chant, and this won't ever kill me with anything, I don't think. And if we if we do get poisoned, that's not too big an issue because Shachi is very frail anyways. So I think this is probably our best play here. Okay, so we do get that Foul Chant off. Uh, that's going to do a lot of damage Wow. Um, yeah, I think they just let this drop. Oh, we're not even going to take any damage back. That is really big for us. Um, I think Falchan, again, is just unpunished. I think Imperior is dead, right? I'm pretty sure I sacked Billiforce for that. I, I, I can't remember. But, um, yeah, we're, we're just going to click the button again. Um, the only things that Okomi outright, I think, are Sea Drake and, um, what's it called? The Dog, Halvantic. Uh, so yeah, I think as long as we go into our pivots to make sure um, Shachi doesn't get damaged, I think we're pretty much fine. What is this going to be? This is going to be Sea Drake, right? Yeah. Okay, so Sea Drake in that Flame Disc, uh, we're going to hit this with a very strong Foul Chant. Um, I kind of don't want to find out if it's Boots, but we get a crit anyways, which is nice. So that's two of their guys down, and I'm pretty sure we only have, uh, we have four guys still alive, right? This is definitely Boots right here, right? The way they're playing this. Um, I could let this drop, but I still think I want to keep this alive, so we will just go into that Phage Knot and Flash and Flee. So yeah, this is probably going to be a Baneful Bash, because very brawny Baneful Bash um, always Oko Shachi, but um, if they do go for something that won't hit our Bar Badger for super big damage, like Gnarly Gash, yeah. Um, so they, yeah, they are aggressive. 
Uh, we can just go into Bar Badger here if they are boots. Um, if they aren't boots, I mean, for sure we outspeed, but hmm. I, th I think we just flash and fleet into our Bar Badger and then click Ice Hammer forever. And then I don't think they really have a good answer to this. We might need a bit more chip on this, so I might just sack Luminami, but we we'll see. We'll see. Or I could just switch into this infinitely, but that gets a little risky because of crits and stuff. So I don't know. We'll see. Okay, they do switch out. Um, if this is okay, well we do get another shot to um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Ice Hammer here. So we will just do that now. So yeah, this is gonna be their last defensive wall that they have basically because Obsidian Gone is way too low to be doing much of anything. So they're gonna have to sack something here, which is very good for us. So yeah, you can see here how Luminami and Phaetronaut with those pivot moves are going to be allowing our attackers to get in very safely. Like, I'm pretty sure Shachi still has full health and this Bar Badger has full health too. So this team is very, very strong in that regard. So yeah, we will just wait for our opponent here. Uh, they will be forced to sack something at the very least. Yeah, so they do sack that Venolin since it is at low health. So we will take that out with an Ice Hammer and we have very, very good energy still. So I think we can fire off three Ice Hammers, which will be able to 2 hit KO with Hal Dantic and then finish off that Obsidian at very low health. Uh, they could choose to be Slumber, but that gives me a free switch into my Shachi, and Shachi is just going to make quick work of that Obsidian. So I think if they're not boost, we win right here. Um, I don't know. Okay, I'm pretty sure this outspeeds me, but they are low health, so I think... Uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's safe enough to make a play yet, because, okay, that's probably like two hits, right? So if they lock in the Baneful Bash, they kill this, they kill this, right? So I don't, I don't think we should make a risk yet. I think we want a little bit more chip on this, and then we'll see what move they lock into. Okay, so they do lock into that Mayful Bash. Uh, we are going to get rid of that aggressive, which is not super big in this situation. Um, I think, yeah, re Rejuvenate here looks fine, because I don't want this to snowball, since both of our uh, attackers are going to die instantly to that Baneful Bash. <laughs> so I think we're just going to Rejuvenate and rest, and then play this very safely, just to convert our advantage. So yeah, I think we can just click Thunder Strike forever. Um, yeah, so I don't want to sacrifice anything, uh, even though they do have that a... Um... Yeah, I don't want to sack anything yet, since even if they don't have their aggressive. Uh, so I think we're just going to Thunder Strike forever, and then um, always click uh, Juvenate. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna heal off that damage. I think, actually, uh, just to keep this video a bit shorter, I think I'm just gonna flash and flee here. Okay, so they are gonna let their guard down, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, okay, so they don't have aggressive right now. So I think... Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, whatever. We'll, we'll sack this uh, Luminami just to keep this battle a bit quicker. Um, I don't know if I wanna flash... I could just straight up wave record, to be honest. So we'll do that, just in case we do live. Uh, okay, oh, so we do live. Okay, so I, I wasn't sure if we were living that because I don't think we have any melee defense investment. So that's going to speed up this game significantly. Uh, we do get that malware, which is not too bad. Okay, so we're just going to flash and flee onto this. I feel like they'd just be slumber, but we have enough um, energy to elemental burst. So I'm pretty sure this game right here. Uh, but we will see. Oh, so they are that rare um, Earthquake. We do not die to that. Very nice. Uh, we are going to bring them to like 1 HP. And I just don't want to get outsped here. So we will just go into our Boots uh, user. And then just click Ice Hammer. And that should be the game. Okay, so we're going to go for that Ice Hammer. I believe that's her last. Hopefully it's her last. But we have four more guys in the back, so I think we're fine. And yeah, so that's going to be game. GG to them. Um, I think we have time for a, one more game. So I think we will come back, and then I'll be back here with another game. Okay, so we do have a battle here. They do have some threats like uh, Bar Badger and Deladrix. Uh, we're going to bring the Luminami, and I think we want the Phage Knot for that uh, Stratosaur and that Vesperatu. Uh, Zulong and Bar Badger might be a problem, so I think we want Imperior here. And I think uh, the Shachi will be able to break through your snack and... Uh, battle in pretty well. Uh, I'm not sure who exactly to lead with. I think uh, leading Zulong could be nice if they do decide to lead the bar better because we can hit it with that strong fire breath. 
Um, this could be nice as well, but with the year snack, I don't know if we'll have a lot of chances to bring our badger in. So we will just lead this. Uh, they do bring in the Zulong. Um, I'm fine trading damage on this because if we get damage on either Bar Badger or this Zulong, um, we can just use the Imperior for the other one. So I think we're just gonna Elemental Burst here. Uh, we're not at risk of dying because of we because we do have that uh, Focus Sash right now. Uh, they go for their own Elemental Burst, but we will hang on, hopefully. Yes, okay. Uh, hopefully this does uh, kill them here. Okay, so we do get the Knockout there, which is very nice. Um, so that opens up uh, Imperior to be able to get rid of um, Bar Badger, but they are going to be left on 1 HP if they are running 36 um, HP TPs. So we will have to get a little bit more chip on top of that, but that's fine. Um, I think that was their boot. Actually, Deldrix might be their boots user, or Bar Badger as well. So I'm not really sure about their team composition here. Uh, we're gonna, we are gonna remove those. Uh, we are gonna remove the Sharp Claws ability. Uh, I think we're just gonna flash and flee here. Uh, so they revealed uh, Zulong, which is dead, and then uh, they have Vesperatu and also Venelin. Um, I think we can just bring in Shashi on this to fire off a strong foul chant, so we will do that now. And I don't think they really have a great switch in for this. Um, yeah, maybe like, um, what's it called? Vesperatu that they just revealed. But other than that, I think this is it. Um, we do have to watch out for that year snack too, but we do live a Shadow Sprint from that, so I think we're fine here. Um, if this if this is slash over revival, this is gonna put them in a really bad spot, and we do have four more attacks left in us. So I think we just do the exact same thing, right? And then I think uh, I don't think we can afford not to um, click flash and flee here. We could uh, click zip zap if they, if we are certain that they are going Benelin just so we can get some extra damage. But in this case, I don't really think it's worth it. I think it's just better to. Um, air on the side of caution and then just get rid of this now or we could rejuvenate I'm not sure how much another slap down or phantom slash will do so I think we'll rejuvenate then uh, what is this Deladrix okay that's a little bit scary but we do have the Luminani in the back uh, if they do zip zap I think we're fine right because we are clever and we do have that power napper and yeah if they if they go into Vesperatu on a zip zap and then double back into their Deladrix this could get a little bit uh, out of hand, but I think right now we're fine with this play. Okay, so they go for the douse. Um, we can see if they're boots here. So, well, okay, if they're Thunderstrike over Zip Zap, we will punish them heavily by going Thunder Chomp. But I'm not sure if that's the right play. Because hmm. if they're not boots, they're very nimble, and I'm pretty sure that outspeeds my Zulong. But then again, I don't really need Zulong for anything, so I think Flash and Flea is probably better here for scouting. Yeah, okay, so they aren't boots, which means Bar Badger is their boots user. Uh, we are just going to get a Flash and Flea on this... I'm not sure what they would bring in, maybe Venelin. But if they do bring in Venelin, uh, we are going to claim a kill, so that's going to be very nice for us. Uh, yeah, so we will just see what they bring in. Uh, that's going to be a Venelin. Okay, so we are going to chip them a little bit. Um, I believe Falchant is a 2-8 KO. It might depend on their set, but that I think that's what it was last game. Um, yeah. We will just do this. Uh, we will just click Falchant again. And let's see how much this dam how much damage this does. Okay, that's going to knock it out immediately, which is fantastic for us, because we still have three more attacks left. So that's going to let us hopefully pick up another kill, because uh, Vesperatu is to it KO'd. Uh, they're going to go into their Deladrix here. Um, I think Luminami is still a fine play. Uh, they have three more attacks, assuming they're uh, 250 energy. Uh, I could go into this if we think they're Pharaoh Blasting, but I don't think so. Because uh, they can't ever finish off my Luminami, right? Because they're uh, switching out of the battle immediately after what they click. So, okay. Um, that's a lot of damage, though. Uh, I don't know if Power Napper can do all of this for us, but they only have one more attack left, and we do have that Imperior in the back. So I'm not too worried about this. I could have just probably gone into Imperior there. Uh, we're barely about to survive. I think we just go into Zulong. Even if we do die, uh, I think I'm fine with that. So getting that Flash and Fleet chip is going to break any Clush plushies, which I think is very solid for us. Um, I feel like Elemental Burst is fine, because they barely have enough for another attack. 
So let's see. If this doesn't kill, I'll be sad. But they do decide to switch out. They do not have the um, what's it called? The Venalin anymore. They have their Year Snack. So they have Deladrix, Year Snack, Mesuratu. Um, I knocked out Venalin, and I think they're the last Zoo Long, right? So we don't have a Barbadger to worry about, which is very nice. Uh, okay, so they're gonna send in this. I think, I think that Vage Notch is free, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, okay, they're they're Shadow Sprinting. For sure, so I'm gonna make a risky play and go into Illuminami just so we can uh, better deal with that Deladrix. I don't want them to chip me down over time, so yeah, we are gonna absorb that Shadow Sprint, and then we're gonna switch out immediately into probably Phage Knot, right? And then we get a free Flash and Flea. If they hard switch into Deladrix, we're in a little bit of trouble, but we do have that uh, Imperior, so I'm not too worried. Uh, yeah, so I, I think we're gonna do this. Okay, so let's see what they do here. Uh, they baffle. Okay, that's not really great for us, actually. Um, I think... Uh, do we have to sack Zulong? I feel like we might. Hmm. Okay. I think Luminami might be this... Actually, no, they only have that much energy left, so I think we're just gonna zip zap. Uh, okay, this might be the wrong play, actually. Uh, I, I don't know if that was the right play. I, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, well, we have that. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that was the great play, but we have Shrew Blast on this, so I think we're fine. I want to I wanna click Thunder Chomp so bad, but if I miss, I think it's game over for me. So, okay, we will see if they're faster than us. I mean, it doesn't really matter anyway, because the other guys have uh, Shadow Sprint. So I think, eh, it is what it is. Oh, uh, yes, okay, so we are faster than Very Nimble Deldrix. That's good to know for uh, later games. Um, yeah, so they do have two Shadow Sprint users in the back. We could this, we could use this as an opportunity to get more HP on our Luminami, but I don't exactly know if that's worth it. Um, I don't think Vesperatu even outspeeds us or uh, KOs. Uh, okay, well, okay, I don't think Luminami is too useful right now, so I think we're just going to use this as an opportunity to get more HP. Um, they do go for the Shadow Sprint. Uh, we are going to waste a little bit of energy, though it's a little bit negligible. Is Shashi really that useful? Well, I guess I guess Zulong is the least useful, because they both have Shadow Sprint. Um, yeah, so we will just sack this now. And yeah, the reason I want health on Luminami is because... Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Year Snack, Slapdown, I'm pretty sure does not kill us if we're pretty high health, so I think uh, we should be fine because of that. Uh, I could Health Gift as well, that's also an option. I'm pretty sure neither of their Shadow Sprints uh, Oko this Imperior, so I think we will be fine. This is going to be one of the rare cases where we're using um, Imperior as an attacker rather than uh, Sacrifice. Uh, we are just going to go for that Shrewd Blast, very nice. And then, I think Shachi is a pretty nice uh, game winner here. I'm pretty sure this is their last. Uh, Deldrix, I, I'm pretty sure I killed. Uh, Zulong is definitely dead. Um, Venolin's definitely gone, Vesperatu is definitely gone, uh, but yeah, I think we're not out of the woods yet, but I think we're pretty close. Uh, so we will just go for that Shrew Blast, break that tank, uh, crit, I'm not sure if that mattered. Um, if we do indeed live a Shachi, or no, if we do live a hit with Shachi, it didn't matter, but looks like we lived a hit anyways, so I think Imperior is just going to seal the deal during this game. Yeah, okay. So a rare case when uh, Imperior is used as an act used as an attacker. Uh, we got two crits there back to back, which is pretty uh, lucky, but that's going to be a GG. So yeah, that's going to be the end of this team builder video. Uh, please do like and subscribe because it does help my channel a lot, and hopefully I will see you guys in another video.